And here is the next part of Jomon. So, very important goal this turn was reached, Conjuration 8. So we are now able to summon Dione. Uh, we tried to kill this Satyr commander and failed, but don't worry, we got him on the next try. How did we win this, then, if, if the ninja didn't kill him? Oh, he must have routed. It's just ran off from getting, like, poked. And I crypt him. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, Agartha attacked Abyssia and got crushed somewhere. That's pretty embarrassing, losing to 11 PD with all this expensive stuff. Like, how do you pull that off? How did he lose? I mean, this is just like trash PD. Okay, his army is like crushing, and they just rout for no reason. How silly. Uh, Nabissia just clobbering a giant clump of PD. And this is why raising PD really high is never a good never a good strategy. Oh, he actually has two of these vampire lords here. Alright, he has two of them. That's a lot of blood slaves he accumulated to get these guys. I can't but I can't help but think the script is just retarded because he has horde of skeletons. I don't know why he's summoning Ray's dead. Whatever. And Pangea uh, hit Vettiheim in uh, the Black Alps, sieging that fort. Our forces defeated some attacking guys. Uh, Abyssia just hit with his little dude, and then something happened over here. Yeah, sieging this throne. Vettiheim's also sieging this throne. They're getting ready to, to win the game. So seeing this, I contacted Agartha and Abyssia and tried to tell them that they need to just end their conflict and hit. Vettiheim immediately because uh, Agartha's like weak and not going to be able to hold this I'm actually also pretty weak and I couldn't hold this if Vettiheim actually just like sweep through if he just takes this army and just comes for me I just lose I, I just I can't stop it realistically um, not with all of his thugs he's got spamming around everywhere uh, but other battles there were some big ones oh yeah this was a big battle this was me attacking into him. Uh, I think a big part of why I lost is that I have ice elementals instead of water elementals, which are just way crappier, just like way more useless. Uh, and he's also got more mages. I mean, my mages are stronger overall, but he's got more mages. His troop composition is yeah, worse. Yeah, there's no good reason I should use this instead of this stupid cold giving me water elementals instead. Or ice elementals instead of water elementals. I'll um, turn off the battlefield because otherwise it's just gonna lag and you can't see anything. Have, having, you know, he, him having crossbowmen is also pretty nasty. And body ethereal minotaurs is no, no good. Ouch. I'll turn on the um, detailed battle log. Whoa, maybe not that detailed, just standard battle log. So yeah, it's like he's spamming, but ooh, this is gonna be... Ouch. Took some casualties there. So yeah, his front line's actually like totally crumbled here. Like there's really nothing left. Uh, just the juicy mage line remaining. And my units rout. And we lose because of like a random route. So yeah, like these four Grove Guard somehow routed my army. Eh, whatever. It's no no not particularly awful. I mean all my guys successfully retreated. Yeah, so I lost to Ryujin.
which is kind of sad, but the infantry and the shark warriors are all pretty disposable. Here's a bunch of Agarthan troops just dying because they don't have a commander. Um, this is interesting. I was wondering, like, how did Abyssia lose this battle? So they have a lot of ground troops, a lot of crossbows. Some few commanders in the back. This assassin with a staff. This assassin. I guess the reason he had assassins about is he was just sight searching with them. I guess. Uh oh, and this is um this is a fort battle against uh Agartha here. Oh, did he give these guys one death gem each? No, he couldn't he couldn't be bothered to do that. But he did to some of them. See, so yeah, he's got fire elementals. He's got uh, these cool smolder ghost guys when blessed. They're, they're pretty okay. They do have invulnerable 10. And, uh, yeah. Overall useless crap bless, but... What is this? Oh, that's the uh, fire drinks. Fire drinks on both sides, actually. <laughs> I don't think that's an effective uh, weapon there. So you're just like burning your own men. See the archers are retreating for some reason. The Agartha front line is almost completely buckled. And for some reason the crossbowmen are routing. I guess because the archers were routing. These guys are actually starving. Some of them. And then I guess because the crossbowmen routed the infantry route. And then the rest of them route. doesn't really make any sense. There's really no reason for those archers to run away. Maybe they got picked, like one of them died, got hit by a bolt. Uh, but still like a terrible loss for Agartha. I mean, yes, okay, technically Abyssia lost, but they didn't lose any of their mages, most of their infantry are fine. Uh, whereas Agartha's infantry line was almost completely killed, and his mage core was also completely killed. He has a single blind lord left, and I'm not counting the mercenary. So yeah, a crushing victory for Agartha, and he will lose that fort next turn to Abyssia. Abyssia also has these like fossilized giants. I don't know what these things are. He's still building up troops down here. I don't know why. He'll never take this fort from me. Um... This is just a waste of gold. But why not? Just bump it up. I've got I've got the money, right? Like, uh, uh. Maybe I catch him in a PD trap. What's in the golem range? What did you put there? Golem range. Golem range, there it is. 42 snipers. Maybe we can beat that with um 26 PD. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that won't work at all. Oh yeah, and this this fort's done, so we'll build a castle here. Uh I think we'll have our first lore master next turn, so that's exciting. I guess just make owl quills on that guy. I, I really don't know what to produce anymore. I guess we can get thug equipment. Yeah, we'll have a Dione next turn, so let's give him some some things to wear. So we'll get a um, 
armor of knights. Give him a... He'll need a shield. Give him that thing, I guess. And, oops. Armor of knights. And you can... So we've got a shield, got a sword. Don't have a hat. Do I have a hat already? No. Hat, hat. The horned helmet, I guess. No, that's that's no good. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Maybe this thing? Luck. Definitely an amulet of resilience. Definitely want one of those. Scututata. Oh, that thing. Uh, don't we don't need another gate cleaver? I mean, we always need more gate cleavers, but we don't we don't need another gate cleaver. Ah, uh, the cat. The cat can get back to site searching. These provinces need to be site searched. One for astral. Or get you know, let's just like use. Oh, I don't have it. Oh well. And then another item, I already have that. I already have fast boots. Oh, I know. Take that away, you can research. And... And... Um, do I have a water guy just hanging out? You? Needs to be water too. You are there. You are a little less essential, so you can have boots, or you can forge the boots of quickness. Equip you with a hammer. And, uh... Give you the thing instead, and you can walk. Um... You can walk... Down here, I guess. Yeah, I just kind of want to bash through these forts as fast as possible. I mean, I'm going to hit two this turn. I could take two more quite quickly, like three more actually. And I get getting a lot of forts really, fa really fast. Uh, this army's still scary. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't really care where it goes. Frankly, I think it can go wherever. Let's build a lab here, because I don't like not having a lab in this province. Head over here. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably just move here and hit this province. And I don't know what's going on over there. You know what? You can summon another Ujigami, because I need another one to lead my armies up here. Uh, you make a lantern. How's my research looking? We'll get Alteration 6 next turn. siege just in case and I want to have one guy maintaining the siege who's the most useless among these people oh I don't have gems to howl anymore well maybe I don't need to maybe I'll just get lucky no I don't like that oh if only I had yeah I've played I've played this quite poorly I really screwed up. God, that's a 
That's a big, stupid blunder. It's a really, really terrible mistake that this army's just now out of gems. This cat needs to hold a handful of each gem type and just walk over here and deliver it to these people. I don't think I'll get punished because this is a pretty meaty fort that he just like lost. Maybe he'll walk over here with all these mages, but maybe not. Anyway, who's the most useless person here? Uh, Matsura, you are useless. You can maintain the siege. Yeah, and I think that's about all. My gem economy is looking okay. I mean, it's, you know, it waxes and wanes as I lose these very valuable provinces that I think are each worth two gems. So that one's worth three. Yeah, that's a lot of my, that's basically all my fire gem income that I have on the whole map. Even though I've searched, like, so many provinces for fire, I've found one fire site this entire game. <laughs> Stupidly unlucky. <laughs> How abs that's unbelievable. Have I not found Have I not found a another fire site? How is that possible? How have I searched all this for fire one and got one site this whole game? The only other source of fire is my capital. How is that possible? Whatever. I'm, this this part's over. <laughs>